Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with the center O, fully confined uh, in a square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, square A, B, C, D has been uh, divided into four uh, quadrants uh, with the origin uh, P. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, E, F is four uh, units whereas uh, this segment uh, QT is three units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. This area, this area, this area, this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, yellow shaded region area is equal to the area of this square A, B, C, D minus uh, the area of this uh, white uh, circle. So therefore, now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, square A, B, C, D and uh, the area of this uh, circle as well and here's our next step since uh, this uh, square has been divided into four uh, quadrants let me label uh, this side length of the quadrant uh, lowercase a 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 and lowercase a across the board then the side length uh, of this uh, whole uh, square is going to be a plus a is going to make uh, two times a so therefore the side length uh, of this uh, square is going to be 2 times a across the board and now in this uh, next step i have connected uh, this uh, center o with this uh, point uh, q such that we got this uh, triangle uh, opq and now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, opq we know that this uh, oq is the radius of this circle so i'm going to label this one as the lowercase uh, r and likewise uh, this is the radius uh, as well so i'm going to label this one as lowercase uh, r as well and now let's make an observation we can see in this whole quadrant uh, this whole length uh, is uh, lowercase a so therefore uh, this segment uh, op is going to be lowercase a minus uh, r and now let's focus on this side uh, this whole uh, length is uh, lowercase a and this uh, qt length uh, is uh, three units so therefore uh, this uh, pq side length uh, is going to be lowercase a minus uh, three so therefore the side lengths uh, of this uh, triangle uh, opq turn out to be lowercase r a minus uh, r and this uh, a minus uh, 3 and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is lowercase r let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we're gonna have uh, a minus uh, r whole uh, square plus uh, a minus uh, 3 whole square equal to r square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it uh, on these uh, two binomials on the left hand side so therefore uh, this is going to give us uh, a square minus uh, 2 times a times uh, r plus uh, r square likewise plus uh, a square minus uh, 6a plus 9 equal to r square and now we can see this r square and r square they are gone and now let's combine the like terms so we are going to have a 2a square minus uh, 6 uh, times a minus uh, 2a r plus 9 equal to zero let me call this our equation uh, number one and here's our next step let's make an observation we can see that uh, this length is uh, lowercase r likewise this uh, length is radius uh, lowercase r as well 
and furthermore uh, this EF uh, segment length uh, is uh, 4 so therefore uh, this whole uh, length uh, is going to be 2R plus uh, 4 and furthermore we know that this uh, whole uh, length uh, is uh, 2 times uh, A so therefore we are going to equate uh, them so I can write uh, this one uh, over here I can write uh, 2A equals to 2R plus uh, 4 let me divide uh, across the board uh, by 2 since this is divisible by 2 across the board so therefore we are going to have A equals to R plus uh, 2 let me call this our equation uh, number uh, 2 and we can see we are ended up with these uh, two equations and this uh, from equation 2 we can see our a value is r plus 2 so therefore in equation 1 wherever I see a a a over here I'm going to replace it by r plus 2 so therefore after the substitution our this equation 1 is going to become 2 times uh, our a is uh, r plus 2 whole square minus uh, 6 times uh, r plus uh, 2 and then minus uh, 2 times uh, r times uh, r plus uh, 2 and then plus 9 uh, equal to 0 and now let's recall another famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square I'm going to apply it uh, on this uh, binomial so therefore I can write this 2 outside uh, r square plus 4 times r plus uh, 4 and in this uh, next step I'm going to distribute uh, them over here minus uh, 6 uh, times uh, r minus uh, 12 and this is going to give us minus uh, 2r square minus 4 r plus 9 equal to 0 and now I am going to distribute uh, this 2 across the board so therefore this is going to give us uh, 2r square plus 8 uh, times r plus uh, 8 and now we are going to combine the like uh, terms so therefore I can write uh, minus uh, 10 times uh, r minus uh, 3 minus uh, 2 r square equal to 0 and now we can see 2 r square and negative 2 r square they are gone let me move uh, this uh, 2 r on the other side so therefore uh, 2 times r turns out to be equal to 5 let me divide both sides by 2 to isolate r so therefore our radius uh, r turns out to be 5 uh, divided by 2 and now let's make an observation we can see the side length of this square is uh, 2 times uh, a so therefore I'm going to multiply this equation 2 by 2 across uh, the board so when we multiply across the board by 2 so this become 2 times a equals to 2 times r uh, plus uh, 4 and now our radius r value is 5 divided by 2 so I'm gonna replace uh, r over here so therefore after substitution we're gonna have a 2 times a equals to 2 times uh, our radius is 5 uh, divided by 2 plus uh, 4 and here we can see 2 and 2 cancels out so therefore the side length uh, of the square turns out to be 9 units since 2a represents the side length of the square and now we are going to calculate the area of the square a b c d and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s uh, represents the side length of the square and in our case the side length of the square is 9 so therefore the area of this uh, square a b c d is going to become 9 square so therefore 9 square equals to 81 and now we are going to calculate the area of the circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square where r is the radius and in our case our radius r is 5 divided by 2 so therefore this circle area is going to be pi times our radius is 5 
divided by 2 whole square. So therefore the circle area is going to be 25 pi divided by 4. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate this uh, yellow shear region area. We already figured out uh, this uh, square ABCD area over here and this uh, circle area over here as well. Let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So this is going to be equal to 81 minus 25 pi divided by 4. So thus the yellow shaded region area turns out to be 81 minus 25 pi divided by 4 square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 61.37 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.